It is Monday morning. Um, woke up around 9 today. Ellie left for work around 7.50ish. Uh, usually I'll try to wake up when she does. Today I was a little extra tired. It's Monday, February 4th. Uh, so usually I'll just wake up and start getting ready. I'll weigh myself first thing. Scale is awesome. It's from Vita Goods. Weighs my body fat percentage, uh, muscle mass, water, weight, and bone density. Not 100% accurate, but compared to other scales I've used in the past, it's actually super accurate. That's body fat percentage, water weight, muscle mass, bone density, and of course that's weight in pounds. So yeah, basically I'll start every day, uh, I'll weigh myself like that, and then I'll sit down, plan out my day usually in my notebook, Today I remembered that I wanted to vlog because I had this big layout written out of what I wanted to include in my YouTube video. Uh, I'm gonna get some workout footage later that I want to include in it as well. I post twice on Instagram every day. If you guys don't follow my Instagram, definitely go check that out. So what I'm doing lately is I'm like batch making content. So I'll take a chunk of Monday and a chunk of Wednesday and just sit down and make a bunch of posts and try to have that last me the whole week. And that way uh, I have them ready to go. I can use the time the rest of the week to work on business stuff. And um, it really just is a better way to time manage. So pretty much just planned out my whole day. Uh, I am not gonna be showing my entire day in this vlog. I've got a bunch of random errands and whatnot that I wanna get done, but I'll give you guys a rough idea of what I'll be doing. So this is kind of what my schedule looks like. I have some calls I gotta do, uh, workout. I am filming a workout with my friend today at my new gym, emails to send out, just little things. This is how I'll plan out my day. I do it chronologically so that I can kind of check it off moving down as I go. It kind of just helps me stay in check. I will give you guys a rough idea of what the physique is looking like right now. This is me. Turn down the brightness. Hi. Currently what I'm looking like, finishing up a mini cut. So I'm trying to lose a little bit more fat and get as lean as I can before I start transitioning into kind of a long-term bulk. The goal with that is to put on as much muscle as possible. I will inevitably gain more fat, but if I start from a point of being as lean as I possibly can be, then I will, be, will have less excess fat than if I didn't do that. One thing I should also mention is that a lot of the work I do during the day is actually uh, for a coaching business, I'm kind of in the process of putting together. So doing a lot of market research right now, I'm like sending out a survey to some people uh, to gauge, you know, generally what uh, my demographic is looking for in an online fitness, nutrition, uh, mindset type coach. I'm calling different coaches that I know through Instagram. I'm getting their input, trying to just combine uh, everyone's knowledge and form my own unique but still effective business plan to be a fitness coach and hopefully have that up and running within the next month or two. So for those of you guys who maybe don't follow me on Instagram or don't necessarily know my situation, I'm a senior in college right now. I'm at UMass Amherst. Uh, my beautiful girlfriend graduated last year. She is working in the area right now. Um, she graduated in three years, so we're like the same age, but she's adulting, she's working a real job. Uh, I stay here during the day. I'm set up with a really flexible major. Without going into too much detail, I basically am in one actual class a week and I get credits for doing my kind of entrep entrepreneurial work during the day. So it gives me an opportunity to really grind, really trying to be making like a full-time income by the time that I graduate in the spring. Recently, I mentioned that we moved in together for the semester, which has been awesome so far and people mentioned they wanted me to do a full house tour, so I'm gonna do that right now. So this is basically our front door. You see the kitchen right away. I didn't clean up, by the way, so if it's messy, uh, that's your problem. Yep. Then you walk through here, and this is basically our main room. It acts as sort of our living room, which is like this area of it, and then also our dining room. It's nice, it's a nice big room, really spacious. And this is kind of where we eat. I do work usually right here. That's our map for places we've been. You can like scratch off where you've been. So we've done some traveling together. Hopefully this whole thing is gonna be colorful as fuck. 
Then on the side of the main room is this giant doorway and there's just two other rooms basically. Our bedroom, which also I haven't cleaned, but I don't care, I still wanna show you. And then we got our bathroom, which is huge for a bathroom, especially in a one bedroom house. So that's my house. Uh, you guys got a little glimpse of what I do most mornings. Uh, I'll probably flash forward after this to later in the day around nighttime when I am filming my video with my friend Gustavo. Hopefully when you flash after this scene, you will see that. All right, can't see super well. Uh, it's dark out now, it's nighttime. Uh, I just finished up my work for the day. I'm going to pick up Gustavo and we are gonna hit crush, if I may, uh, an awesome pull day. <laughs> How we doing? That's super zoomed in. I can't tell if I'm zooming in or out. <laughs> Anyways, wanna give a uh, quick intro? All right. How we doing, guys? My name is Gustavo. You probably know about me because of all the dank photos Max is getting. <laughs> no, we're going over to the gym right now. We're gonna get a nice workout in. Max is gonna kill it at the gym like he always does, right? Oh yeah. Hell yeah. I, all right, yeah. Yeah. I guess, uh, I don't know if you want to keep it going. No, I think that's no. good. Is that good? All right. Yeah, well, next time you see us, we will be hitting the weights. Oh yeah. See you there. All right. <laughs> it's your boy. <laughs> About to crush a pull day. A little back and biceps action, maybe some rare delts. And uh, let's get after it. All right, let's get it. What's going on guys? I figured I would do a little bit of a voiceover over this portion of the video uh, and over a lot of the clips of me working out. Gustavo got some really awesome footage here so I'll kind of just talk over it, explain what I'm doing and tell you a little bit about my split. So uh, I'm starting this workout with barbell rows. These are a great move for building back thickness. I believe I did about four sets of 10 with these. Uh, these were definitely some heavier sets. Back thickness is something I'm trying to prioritize. I've always had a bit of a wider back just from prioritizing that earlier in my lifting career. So now uh, definitely trying to build a thicker back and I'm prioritizing that by doing movements like this horizontal rows uh, earlier in the workout when I am less fatigued. So yeah, this was the movement that I started with barbell rows, did a couple solid sets of that. And then uh, after this, I moved into a vertical pull these are lat pull downs, got a couple cool angles of this. Um, but yeah, basically going into 2019, my plan right now is to really do a couple months of just a really quality bulk. In the past, I've only ever dirty bulked and I you know, ate way too much food, didn't really track my progress. And due to that, I think I didn't, you know, I wasn't able to gain as much muscle because I wasn't slowly increasing calories. I was really just, I jumped into this giant surplus and it uh, didn't really change my intake from there. So I'm excited to really slowly up my intake and have a have a solid focus on strength, track my numbers uh, on like like numbers of sets and reps that I'm doing on major movements and really just focus on progressing over time, taking my time with it, trying not to gain too much excess fat. And I'm honestly really excited to see uh, what that does for me. So yeah, for this movement, I ended up doing a solid three sets of 10, I believe. And you know, this is uh, not really a, a crazy strength movement. This isn't something I wanna load a ton of weight on and do like four or five reps for. So I was uh, definitely comfortable working in that rep range. What are we doing next, Max? Decided between cable rows and dumbbell rows. Mm -hmm. What do you think? All right, let's do dumbbell rows. I like it. Yeah, sure. You usually see people going kind of along with the bench like this. I've always found that to feel kind of awkward. So I'll kind of go perpendicular to it. I'll take the dumbbell, just see one side of the sets, but go uh, like perpendicular to it like that. I kind of prefer it, it's just less involved with the bench and you have more freedom and range of motion. So right here we got dumbbell rows. I was able to pop the shirt off for these. Um, yeah, this is a movement I uh, actually used to kind of hate, but lately I've been kind of forcing myself to do them and I've started to like them more. I did a solid three sets of 10 reps per side on this movement. 
uh, in this particular workout. But yeah, no, like I said, uh, I used to hate these, been doing them a lot lately, and I'd honestly highly recommend them to anyone looking to build a thicker back. They're a great movement for building strength. It's like half of me. <laughs> Not those weights. <laughs> Literally flexing. <laughs> Good Have fun of it. <laughs> Damn, dude. <It's> so wide. <laughs> Couple sets of pull ups right here. This was actually the last uh, major movement I did to train back during this workout. And I uh, went into it planning to do, I believe, three sets of like eight, but that was pretty hard. Pull ups are hard enough on their own, let alone at the end of a workout. So um, yeah, I did these first couple sets decently well. Um, I actually used to start my workouts with pull-ups when I was prioritizing back width, and they're great for that. But like I said, I'm trying to prioritize thickness now. And I should mention, uh, as you can see, I did switch to a neutral grip uh, for the second and third sets just because it allows me to use my biceps a little more. Since my back was so tired uh, from the rest of the workout, it made this move a little bit easier on me, but I still got those reps in. There you go. How <laughs> many get? Huh? How many did you get? That was uh, eight, but it was like more like six. And All right. Two five seven. <laughs> <laughs> and then this was that third set that I went for. Uh, definitely wanted to prioritize quality over quantity with these. So instead of even trying for a crappy eight reps, I ended up just aiming for a good four to five reps that I could do slowly and, you know, get a quality contraction out of it. And that is what I ended up doing, as you can see. Really try to get a full stretch and squeeze here. There you go. So a typical pull day for me would consist of four big pulling movements, uh, usually two horizontal rows and two vertical rows. That would be the majority of the workout. And then I would finish up with some uh, accessory bicep work. Uh, biceps are something I'm definitely trying to bring up, especially on this upcoming bulk. So did a couple of movements for them. I did bicep curls, as you just saw. This was just a couple with my shirt off for the aesthetic. I <laughs> uh, thought it looked pretty cool. These I actually just threw in because I wanted to get the footage and wanted to see how it looked. I did not do cable rows during this workout. I do them sometimes. This workout just happened to be a time that I didn't, but I thought they looked uh, pretty sick in this video. And then the second movement I did for biceps in this workout were these cable curls. So I think I did about three sets of 12 with the dumbbells and a good three sets of 10 with the cables. Don't let out a poopy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, those poses are interesting. <laughs> I like that. I think I got honestly a really good put uh pull session in. I'm gonna go home and sleep like a fucking baby. There we go. Beautiful. So it is now 11 13 p.m. Ellie just went to bed actually. Um I will show her in the next video. I realized she didn't even make an appearance in this one, but we kind of were doing our thing today. Anyways, doing a little editing right now. Hopefully go to bed soon. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please toss this video a like if you found it useful or entertaining. And subscribe if you haven't already. And all my info is in the bio. Thanks so much for watching, guys.